Hello dear, welcome back. So we are again discussing about orientation and trying to understand all the intricate details about how a rigid body is orientation can be represented in the form of a matrix. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, that um, how the description of orientation of a rigid body can be obtained in the form of composite rotation matrix when instead of um, operations are given either on the principal axis of the inertial coordinate frame or body coordinate frame instead of that what if a body say here it is a rigid body okay so red one is a rigid body and this is undergoing some uh, you see some rotation about an arbitrary axis given by r so in that case what will be the composite rotation matrix that we are going to uh, discuss in this lecture so and uh, the earlier whatever we have discussed will be very very useful and you see um, so intuitive so interesting hmm? um okay say what we will have to do now say this is given to me and say this is actually um is actually a unit vector okay and it has um, component say rx ry rz okay so, uh, say suppose we are, um, so the issue is, I have given a, a operation, that means I have rotated this body, okay, um, in the positive direction of course, we can see from here. Okay. So, about this axis, then how to get that uh, composite rotation matrix. The idea is very, very intuitive and very, very simple. Try to see. See, directly I cannot uh, obtain the composite rotation matrix. So, what I am doing, I am just trying to um, coincide by some successive action, uh, that means orientation operation. I would like to coincide this axis with any of the principal axis. So here, I am coinciding with Z axis, okay? And then, about Z axis, I will give the uh, operation which is needed. So what, uh, what is the operation needed? That uh, about R by an amount phi. So this is the angle about R Okay, like that. If I put my eyes here, uh, okay, has been given. So what I will do? I will just see. This is my x-axis. About x-axis, I am giving one operation to flip that. Um, as this is as a stick, right? I am. This is my first operation. What it is doing actually say this is my angle alpha. So about x by an amount alpha, I am rotating this stick. So it will be here. Okay. And then I will what I will do, I will give another operation about y. Okay, say. So this is my another operation. Hmm? So now it is here and then looking from here, say uh, and th if this is my angle beta, so what operation I am giving? Um, minus beta, right? It is looking from here, counterclockwise, this is positive and what I need to give from 1 to 2 show that this axis will now 
coincide with their axis. So, what operation I will have to give? So, first operation was number one, you have rotated about x by an amount alpha. Then, second, about y by an amount minus beta, right? Because you are giving this direction is minus beta. And now, what has happened? First, the stick came over here, and then when you uh, made that operation with respect to y, it coincides with the. So now, R coincides with this. Okay. So this has come here now, and then what you'll have to do? You'll have to do whatever you have asked. What you have asked? About z by an angle phi. Plus, that's it. So, by an angle phi, uh, you are looking from here. So, this is the operation you have given. So, what I am trying to do now, I am trying to resolve all my rotations with respect to uh, some uh, rotation about the principal axis. And as soon as uh, this uh, effective vector is axis is actually coinciding with any of the principal axis, I am given the operation which is required. So, this is the operation which is required. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, your stick is here. It has to go here. Okay. Uh, so, I will have to take it back. How? Just in reverse uh, um, operations I will have to give. So, what I will have to give? Followed by a rotation about so this is two okay uh, about y now this time it will be beta now my stick is here I'll have to take it back so now what operation I'll give about x by an amount minus alpha so, what is my composite rotation matrix? Composite rotation matrix. First, I am putting here and I will see all the operations here about the uh, some of the principal axis of the inertial coordinate frame. So, they will be in order, they will be uh, pre multiplied. Followed by this, followed by this followed by followed by about x by minus alpha. So these are the matrix multiplication you will have to do. Ah, so I can just write them. Ah, so this will be 1 0 0 0 0. Okay. So cos alpha sin alpha okay because this is minus alpha huh? so minus sin alpha cos alpha got my point no so this is what this is the rotation matrix minus alpha so minus sin beta 0 cos beta. So, this is your this matrix. By the way, just for um, uh, space problem, uh, you know, cos alpha, this is equal to cosine alpha, right? Sin alpha equal to sin alpha. Unnecessarily, we are not writing this, but they are implied. Okay, so these are what you should check. So now, uh, okay, so cos phi minus sin phi zero 
sin phi cos phi is 0 0 0 1 okay and then cos beta 0 minus sin beta 0 1 0 sin beta 0 cos beta so 1 is remaining right so I will have to put a cross sign here multiplication okay and the last matrix I am writing um, 1 0 0 0 0 cosine alpha minus sine alpha sine alpha cosine alpha and so you see um, any arbitrary axis r okay and uh, we have resolved that uh, when you are rotating the body with respect to any arbitrary axis we have resolved it in the form of so many um, matrix multiplication about principal axis all these operations are given uh, one of the principal axis x y j right and how to get cos alpha sin alpha or cos, uh, cos beta sin beta is very easy you see uh, what is sin alpha sin alpha this uh, divided by this one okay um, okay so So this is your, uh, this is my um, R has a component, you know, this is Rx, say Rz and Ry, okay. So th these are the components of this uh, axis or vector R uh, along X axis, along Y axis, along Z axis, right. So now you can calculate what is sin alpha? Sin alpha would be equal to, and r is a unit vector. r is a unit vector without loss of generality. I can assume that. Otherwise, you will have to make a unit vector by uh, dividing it uh, by its um, magnitude. Okay. So, this will be ry. This is ry. Okay. So this is the 90 degree and this is the hypotenuse, right? So R Y square plus R Z square. Hmm? So this is R Y, this is R, this is, this is R Y, this is R Z. So I know this is 90 degree, so this will be this square plus this square square root of x. So sin alpha you got. So here actually sin alpha which uh, you have introduced is not unknown. It is known in uh, the moment you know the ax uh, uh, arbitrary uh, axis. Okay. Similarly, uh, cos alpha will be rz y square plus r z square okay similarly um, sin beta sin beta
or z square simple geometry cos beta equal to um, sorry sin beta equal to sorry sin beta right sin beta equals to um, r x sin beta equal to r x and cos beta equal to okay so these are very simple from the geometry simple geometry and further you can uh, actually uh, see Leif Gonzalez book uh, robotics control uh, very wonderful book uh, so here I am trying to make a point here. The, you see, whenever you need to calculate um, body's orientation when you have uh, given an operation about any arbitrary axis, uh, axis is known to you. This is known to you. Okay, so then this will be the composite rotation matrix. But it need not be like this. It could be, but the resultant composite rotation matrix could be uh, same. Being same. You see, as I was telling, no, there is no um, uh, single way of um, describing the orientation of the same um, amount of uh, rotation about um, arbitrary axis. So instead of first doing this, what we could do? Uh, first, I could rotate this about z axis okay and it will flip here and then i could um, I, I, actually i could rotate so here i have given this kind of thing hmm? then you can just it is your um, exercise uh, you can uh, first give a operation about z axis by an amount say whatever angle it is making with um, x axis okay you can get it so that is the amount you give so it will go somewhere in this plane okay and then you can um, you can give another operation about x so that this will be flipped or assigned about this axis and about this you can give phi so the point I am trying to make, so that's that's your um, exercise. Okay, it need not be of this um, sequence. Sequence could be some other things. First sequence could be giving some operation about z axis, and actual operation phi could be given about x axis or y axis by completely aligning proje uh, the projection of R with either x or y so if you align so here we have aligned with z similarly you could align with x giving some operation and then when it is aligned with x then you do the actual uh, phi operation about that axis so you see this will change but multiplication that, that means composite rotation matrix will be uh, will be uh, the same in terms of um, this component okay so that's very interesting isn't it and uh, this is very very useful um, actually uh, matrix because normally this is what um, we require okay and that uh, multiplication if you do actually it will be something like this well,
rz sin phi so this is the first column second column will be rx ry minus rz r y square v phi plus c phi rx sin phi okay and okay so this we can arch it v5 uh, plus ry sin phi and then ry arch it v5 minus rx sin phi r z square v5 plus c phi so this is three cross rotation matrix which is the composite rotation matrix by multiplying all these matrices okay and now here of course uh, this is called verse v5 v where v5 equal to verse 5 again shorthand we are writing to accommodate so this is extremely extremely useful rotation matrix so whenever you have any axis given that means these are given you plug in all these values here okay and whatever uh, rotation about that axis you have given that is to be known say 45 degree about this axis okay so just put the values here so here only uh, one uh, unknown phi all other things are known the moment the uh, um, axis is given to you and you are able to just calculate the composite rotation matrix and as i told again i am reminding you that it need not be uh, like this aligning with z axis uh, as a homework uh, so align r with x and calculate composite rotation matrix then align r with y and calculate composite rotation matrix and check that this this and this they are to be same okay because why because you are giving one and only one operation that is in the positive uh, phi direction about r that's the operation you have given and all these are auxiliary operations uh, this is just like you see uh, if somebody is having uh, say <laughs> appendicitis and it has to be removed so what doctor first will do uh, put anesthesia and then cut the uh, belly for that portion okay and then again actually do this operation and when you have done the operation we will have to again close that wound close the belly and uh, recover the, uh, and make the patient recover from anesthesia so these are auxiliary things actual thing is this so you can easily uh, these are auxiliary things you can easily do in other uh, form also and uh, instead of z it could be about x axis so uh, actually 
the actual actual um, this thing will be in case of 1 x by 5 okay about this it will be about y so i hope that you have understood what i mean right so that's a very important composite rotation matrix so having uh, said about composite rotation matrix we will now describe uh, one method which will make our life uh, much more easier uh, for finding the for getting the angles because you see t still i have only this kind of matrix right now the the um, question is from this kind of matrix or any any 3 by 3 matrix how can i here i can readily know because these are principal um, matrices so i can know that the body has been given a rotation beta about um, y axis or here i know that body has given a rotation about x axis by an amount alpha okay these are i know because they are principal axis but seeing this matrix how do i know say um, uh, that uh, about what axis what rotation has been given okay uh, and this is of course about x axis that's why i know that but suppose i have some any arbitrary three four operations right um, and then after multiplication of them i have been given a uh, final matrix so seeing the final matrix only how do i predict that what are the operations body has undergone okay so to know that you will have to know about euler's angle of orientation okay so that actually in the next class we will start from here uh, thanks to leonard euler and it has enormous application not only in robotics uh, will give example exciting examples uh, about uh, what euler angle can do and how orientation control is important and what are the problem with euler angle and then how to solve them till then thank you for your attention stay safe and goodbye